In this video, we will learn the concept of dispersion and how to measure it. Measures of dispersion. What is a measure of dispersion? Measures of dispersion quantify how a dataset is. They provide insights into how much the data points deviate from a central point. In other words, data points are more diverse, the value of the measure of dispersion increases. Types of measures of dispersion. Range. The difference between the maximum and minimum values in a dataset. That is, range is equal to maximum value minus minimum value. Variance. Variance is the average of the squared differences between each data point and the mean. For population data, the variance can be found by using the below formula. For sample data, the variance can be found by using the below formula. Standard deviation. Standard deviation is defined as the square root of the variance. For population data, the standard deviation can be found by using the below formula. For sample data, the standard deviation can be found by using the below formula. Mean deviation, the average of the absolute differences between each data point and the mean. Quartile deviation, half the difference between the first and third quartiles. Remember, measures of dispersion work hand-in-hand -hand with measures of central tendency, such as mean or median, to provide a comprehensive understanding of a data set. Let us solve a model problem. Determine the range, population variance, and standard deviation of the following data. 50, 32, 28, 25, 27, 48, 16, 20. The range of the given data can be found using below formula, substituting maximum value 50 and minimum value 16 we get 34. To find variance, we will use the below formula. Here we need summation x and summation x square. For this, prepare a table as shown below. Enter all the given data in the first column and label it as x. Find the square of each number in the first column and enter in the second column and label it as x square. Find the sum of all x as shown. Find the sum of all x square values as shown. Substitute above summation values in the below formula. On simplification, we get 132.1875. The standard deviation is found by taking the square root of variance as shown below. On simplification, we get 11.5 output. Thanks for watching.